welcome. Aaron, Aaron Shelby, uh, the grandson of, um, of Mr. Shelby, is, uh, is here with us. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. What a pleasure to have you here. I, you know, I, I just want to, I just want to, I just want to mention uh, what is what is the load that you take when you, when you are the grandson of, of Carl Shelby, especially with the legacy that, that well, he, you know, it's he a, left. It's an important legacy, but it's also a fun legacy, and so I try and make sure to have fun with it. I watched Carol while I was growing up do different events and interact with people, and he really just wanted to make sure that he understood what people were asking for and that he listened and he was a friend. I heard time and again how many people met him once and he had a great ability to remember names and faces. And 10 years later, they would meet him again and he would ask how their family was and he just, he made people feel comfortable. And so that's what I try and do. I don't really, there's, there's a big brand, but it's really a family behind it. And we really just try and make everybody else feel like part of that family. And I'm pretty sure everyone wants to know Tell us a little bit about that movie, uh, Ford versus Ferrari, because you probably know a little bit more than us, <laughs> and you were very close to the action. <laughs> you know, I tell you, it really, it was a great movie to get the Shelby story out, and a great movie to get the story out to a younger generation. Carol joined back with Ford in 2004, and the first new Shelbys of this generation came out in 2006. And a lot of people understood that, but they didn't understand the history, the they didn't know the past. And to write. American history, Shelby always will be in the first page. I mean, it honestly, is uh, is uh, is the the possibility in America to 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 have work and do anything that you really want and and achieve any 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 goal because the limits are the sky. You you got no limits in America. I think that's a great description. You know, and that's really how Carol lived his life. He, he tried many many things that did not succeed but he was always ready to get up the next morning and try something different. And he had a determination and a drive that I think, you know, at the time you could only really do in, a, in, in America. And his partnership with Ford Motor Company really allowed him to grow that. And he was great. One item that the movie showed really well, he would go to Detroit and politic and have his suit on. And then he would go back to Los Angeles and say, just keep doing what you're doing. I'll keep them off your back. So that was really, a, it was just his nature to be able to do that. And the, it is a great American story. And it's really one of the best, I think, I'm biased because he's my grandfather, but one of the best American stories out there in business. 